Hey everybody, welcome back to Starting Over. I'm Camille. And I'm Gretchen. We're so glad that y'all are here. That's right. Um, it's summer and uh, <clears throat> lots are, lots of things are going on. And I know that you get really busy yeah, because you've got things. kids out of school. And, sure. you know, sometimes people just have more time. But Camille and I were talking. We always have um, discussion before we actually start taping. We were just talking about how sometimes religion can pull away your power. Yeah, I think it's people in a religious setting like that have a little bit of a, I guess I'll call it a God complex, mm. you know, yeah. like they, uh, they moral high ground, they think maybe. They kind of, what we're saying is they kind of can treat somebody else like they know more. Oh yeah. Like they're more spiritual and, and maybe God or whoever, you know, the prayer is going to actually may not listen to that person because they have more experience right. or they have more knowledge of things, you know, whether it's scriptures or, you know, whatever, whatever it might be, what it really boils down to. And this is, this is what Camille and I were talking about. It's, it's, it's kind of a game of control. Oh yeah. Domination. Oh yeah. Well, and if I can, you know, tell, if I can convince you that I have power, you know, I have power. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I have control. It, you're going to be dependent upon me. Exactly. So if you've yeah. ever had somebody say, you know, oh, um, I, I'll pray for you in a way as if, I mean, there's nothing wrong with praying to somebody, no. but, but if they for me, say it in good. a way like you can't do this yourself. Right. I have better prayers than you. Right. Let me pray for you. And you really kind of need to pay attention. I mean, we're we're actually not kidding around about this. You actually need to yeah. pay attention to when when people talk about you or to you that way, what they're basically saying is, and you can buy into this if you're not careful, is you don't have any power or you don't have any authority with God to do it yourself. Yes. And from what Camille and I believe God is not a respecter of persons that says, oh, I'm sorry, you have this degree or you have this experience. Therefore, you're more important for me to listen to than this. Right. Well, I don't think anyone has authority over me. OK. And I think that that's what it is, is, is if someone's going to say they, they claim authority over me. Mm -hmm. I, I have more connection or I'm closer to God or I, 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 I look, I we're in Utah. OK. And some people will say, I, I'm going, uh, they'll go to the temple and they're going to put my name on. I'm like, I, I'm good. Thank you, though. Thank you. I, I want to value that. She's you're... talking about a prayer role that they yeah, have in the temple. Yeah, yeah. Like, that... I need I need prayers. I, I feel like I don't want to feel like I'm that. I, I just sometimes it just rubs me the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, so let's not confuse this because we we certainly are not against people praying no. for people like that's that's not love the on me. It's more yeah. of a you sinner. It's, it's when you feel like somebody is actually doing a dig. Yes. that You're not good yeah. enough to have a communication with whoever your higher power is that sure. you believe. So if you feel like. You know, for instance, if somebody maybe has a blessing that comes to them and they're feeling really good about it. Yeah. And then what if the person they're telling it to goes, well, you know, we we prayed for you. Yeah. It's kind of shooting them down like you didn't have the power or the authority or the the relationship with God or whoever that you could get that yourself. We had to do that. Well, and it's, you know, don't you forget. I'm the one that introduced you to Jesus. I mean, don't you forget. Taking I'm credit. One, exactly. Like there's a credit for, I prayed for you and you got that result. And so like, where's my cut? <laughs> you know, oh, that's so funny. Cause uh, that's kind of the, the, the yes, message. That's the is. language. Like, uh, okay. So you need to give, <laughs> you need to give credit to me, not God. Right. Right. So I, or myself even, you know, yeah. it's like if I can't yeah. give credit to myself, it's like, wait a minute. So do I have any power of my own? Do I have any access on my own? No, I must go through you. Mm -hmm. And there's just been some, yeah, I just think in some heavy dogmatic religions, there's always this moral high ground, or if they think they've got moral high ground over you and you're mm -hmm. a sinner, you know, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, please don't pray for me. So that's <laughs> yeah. when I say it like that. Like, I don't need you to pray I for know. me. I know. Yeah. And you know, the thing is, um, what Camille and I believe uh, is, you know, there isn't anybody that has power over you. No. There isn't anybody that is keeping you from getting answers that you want and you deserve. Yes. There isn't anything that you're doing 
in mm-hmm. our opinion that makes God go, yeah, no, I'm not answering you, but I'm going to answer, I'll answer them. And then you can tell her because yeah. I'm not talking yeah. to her. She's got it all wrong or he's got it all yeah. wrong. And that's the thing for me. It's like, if someone, I'm going to talk to God for you. Like I, I can talk to God myself. Yeah. Like, please don't think you're, yeah, no, you can't because you don't have some superior thing like I've got. Actually, I do. So I, I just don't. That's what turns me off. I'm like, please do not pray for me if you're going to have an attitude like you have moral high ground over me. Yeah. And I am somebody beneath you. Yeah. So uh, that just rubs me the wrong way. I think, too, be careful when people discredit what you believe. Yeah. Um, you know, we all have different levels of our testimony to whatever that is that we believe or whatever it is. And if that's foreign or that doesn't land on somebody very well or that seems like, hmm, I've not heard that before, sometimes the answer can be in a way that's trying to make you doubt yourself that you have this connection or that yeah. you feel this conviction or you feel this testimony. And again, that's robbing you of your power. Yeah. That's robbing you of your relationship and what you are convicted to believe. Yeah. I know that one time... I was doing this job um, for this company, and I was endorsing this particular company, and they ended up owing me some money. And after you know several attempts to try to get them to pay me for this appearance that I had already done, their answer was, "You know, you're a sinner. Oh. You you know that wow. what you're doing or how you're believing wow. or you know where you're living like." Your this, lifestyle. It, or... It's okay for us. I lived in Utah, right? Yeah. It's okay for us not to pay you because, you know, you're the one that's really messing up. Wow. And I just remember, like, how did that go from a business relationship? And then all of a sudden, it's turned into, we're not obligated to pay you, Gretchen, because of what you believe. Yeah. Like, that, but that's, I just hear, I'm going to justify me not paying you by, I'm going to figure out what I can say to make you feel bad about yourself or something. Again, there's that moral high ground thing again, right? Yeah. Like yeah, G- yeah. Jesus told me, Gretchen, that you're, yeah, yeah. you're not worthy to get this payment, you know? Wow. And I just remember like, oh my gosh, is that what we're supposed to do? Just guilt people into yeah, yeah. thinking that they're not worthy of, mm. you know, whatever the abundance is or whatever is owed to them. Right. I mean, I think what we're trying to say y'all is own your ground yeah stand firm in what you believe in and don't be swayed by somebody trying to come in and say i know more than you Mm -hmm. let me Mm -hmm. take care of this yeah let me handle it for you let me talk to jesus because i know more than you that's right and i think to myself does jesus not talk to the little children Mm. they don't have as much time on earth to know more yeah that's that doesn't fly with me no well, to me, it's a, when you've got someone abusing their power. You know, again, nothing's wrong with praying for people and, li- and blessing people and loving on them. But, yeah. w- but it's really an abuse of power, you know. And, yeah. and there's, and I think people, some people really do feel like they have superiority. So, and mm-hmm. this, but they're using, again, some sort of moral judgment or moral superiority to not pay you. Okay. <laughs> like that. And so let, let's blur the lines here a little bit. No. <laughs> Incredible, yeah. incredible. Hey, if y'all are listening, you still never did pay me. Oh, but you my know what? Goodness. You think about. You think about. I mean, tragically, yeah. you know, Jim Jones' story, David Koresh. Yes. You know those type of people that took advantage of yeah. preying Innocent. on um, the innocence, the naivety yeah. of somebody that's really looking and yeah. yearning for some answers. Yeah. And, you know, that's where I, I know when, when I watch documentaries or read about that stuff, I always think, like, how could they believe that? But, you know, yeah. sometimes when you're in a space and you're really wanting to be close to whatever you believe and you're wanting answers and you feel like that person has it and you don't, and then you buy into the fact of what they're telling you is you're not worthy to get an answer. Right. You got to go through me. That's right. You got to go through me because God's not, you're not, you're not in a place where he can answer you. Yeah. You've done something. You're in the bad. Yeah. Y- you're not going to, you're not going to understand it like me. That is never mm-hmm. the case. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, and this to me is suppression. I mean, when people want to take authority over you because and you doubt yourself, you need to doubt yourself. You don't know as much as I do. Like I have more, again, moral high ground. You, you want to be careful around those people. Anyone that you doubt yourself around. That's someone who's probably trying to make you feel bad about you so they can 
hijack your brain and tell you what to do. I've got a, one client I'm working with, and literally for years she's been jumping through all these hoops for her other trainer, coach, whatever. And this girl's a masterful person. She's very brilliant, but she didn't think she was worthy. And so she's so doing all these things to appease this other, you know, trainer, coach, and I mean crazy stuff, you know, like saying sorry to people she didn't need to. I mean, it's just all these things. <sighs> It's incredible. And and it's to, to pacify this person. But that person constantly tests them to make sure that she's still obedient to her. So you're not going to get money if you don't do it this way. You're not going to get success if you don't do it this way. You're going to lose oh that competition God. if you do it this way. So there's literally some sort of weird. There's always a threat. Yes, there's a threat going there's on all the time. There's like always yeah. like a... Um, yeah. <clears throat> Like an ultimatum, if you don't, then oh, yeah. this... Well, her life's going to fail. You're, you're, you're never going to match anything. You're never going to go anywhere if you don't do it this. You have to do this to get that result. It's some sort of weird trade-off. Like, if you want a blessing, you've got to do it this way. It's ridiculous. Is what and it is. How many of y'all... I mean, we've yeah. all lived through times in where we've had people try to pull out that on us, you know? Yeah. It, I remember one denomination that I was in that basically was like, if you don't pay your tithing, mm -hmm. you are actually not going to heaven. Right. You know, and, and so we, really when you boil it all down to, and I, I recognize, Camille recognized, look, a lot of this is tradition. A lot of it is a culture. A lot of it is stuff you're used to, and maybe that's hard for you to hear. But when you break things down and you really kind of dissect like this lady telling yeah. her, I need you to do this, I need, you know, is that something that your, your faith and whatever you believe, is that what they would really ask you to do? No. This is just a test. It's like, and I think it was for her own validation that she still got, had her, you know. And look, you, people that have real power tend to find themselves in these type of dynamics. So you, you must be somebody. You must be a real talent, a real beauty, um, a real um, spiritual person. Something must be real about you, but you don't know that about yourself. And so some sort of, um, I'm going to call it parasitic, okay, abusive power kind of person figures out who you are before you do. And then they take advantage of you, of your, of your self-doubt. Right. And your goodness is used against you. You see what I'm saying? Right. In that movie, Elvis, have you seen the movie Elvis? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I would say the Colonel, is that they call him the Colonel, that he's getting half of what Elvis got. I mean, he, this was his agent. Okay. This guy exploited, he exploited mm -hmm. Elvis. Mm -hmm. Now, Elvis wanted to be exploited in the beginning. We may want to be exploited in the beginning. Fine. But know your worth. That's the thing is he didn't right. know his worth. Right. And if you don't know your worth and you don't know who you really are yet and you've got someone who meets you and, and exploits you and takes advantage of you, makes you know, has opportunities because of you, whatever, that's the kind of stuff we're talking about is those kind of people are, in my estimation, evil. Okay, mm -hmm. That to me is evil. Because the motive, because the motive yes. isn't, <clears throat> it's, 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 it's hiding behind the name of God, but it's not. Right. You know, and so... So what do you do about it? Um, you know, Camille and I are big proponents in, first of all, you have to know who you are. Yeah. You have to know that you are a divine being. You have been created just like you and you and yeah. you and uh, everybody is, right? Yeah, so right. There, isn't, there isn't a situation where you're not worthy to hear of guidance because we all have a guidance. Yeah. We all have that. So how do you tap into that? Yeah. Well, you have to actually know that you you are okay. It's okay to to have your own prayers. Yeah. It's okay to have your own communication. It's okay to ask for things on your own. Yeah. You know, I think so many times, especially in organized religion, people think, um, so I need to do steps one through seven, yeah. and then I'm going to be blessed. Yeah. You actually have the ability to have guidance, direction, um, answered, you know, premonition, whatever. You have the ability to have that from step one. Yeah. That's you right. don't have to work your way down in order to be able to receive. And earn love. Mm -hmm. Earn power. I have to earn it. I, I, I am nothing... You know, and again, there's, there's, humility is great, but you also want to keep your own counsel. You want to trust yourself. Right. But if you give your power to somebody else, another human being, okay, that's when you could get yourself in a little bit of trouble because you're down the rabbit hole with doing whatever they, they tell you to do and you're nothing by yourself. You want to be careful. I mean, there's all these documentaries on Netflix I watch. It's like these people get just, they really just don't see their own value. But someone else saw it and they exploited it. 
and they kiboshed it. They kiboshed it, yeah. And, that, and that's basically what we're saying is, yeah. you know what, you at the end of the day and the beginning of the day and throughout the day, nothing ever changes because you are worthy yes. and you are smart and you are um, capable. capable and you, yeah. you, you have the same power that they do. Yeah. You have the same power that they do. You have the power to call upon whatever you worship. That's you right. have that power. You have, you have the power to get an answer. You have the power to get the blessings and what you're asking for. That's on you. It's not on somebody else. That's right. And and if someone tells you they could get that for you, right? That's where again, if someone I I, I have the wisdom. I I'll do that for you. People don't get you your dreams. You get your own dream for yourself. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if someone says, I promise you this and that, they can't promise you that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And many a times, um, and Camille and I laugh about this, many a times there are people that love to take the credit for a blessing oh, yeah. that's come to your life. Oh, yeah. Well, you got that, you know, because X, mm-hmm. Y, and Z mm-hmm. and the neighborhood was praying for you. Yeah. Or, you know, your life's not going so good, but if you come back to the fold yeah, and you start living right, because you're not living right. The reason your life's going to the toilet is because you're not living right. And if you live right, okay, look. I, that is such a but hogwash, and, and then and then the next year you're going through something, but you're the one saying if you need to be living right and have blessings. It's like this some sort of. It's like well, wait a minute. I, I thought I thought you had to be living right. If right. And oh, they don't want to hear that. Do oh, you know but, how many times I heard? Well, you know you got cancer because oh, God's up. God needs to teach you something. Oh my. Lord. Or you you weren't living right. Like I heard that. I People heard actually that. said that out of their mouths. Yes, you? and and to me, I'm like, and you didn't throat punch him or anything. I mean, you didn't ball <laughs> kick him. I'd be like, shut the uh oh. It just I would would, be like, it just floored me. I just thought that would oh, floor me. Oh my gosh, like I've never, I've never ever considered that with anybody. Why would you say that to somebody? Sure. And again, it becomes the God complex. Mm-hmm. Who gave you the authority to say that's what's happening? And why? Like you know that, like because you. No, because Camille something. and I were, we were saying, okay, so does that mean all the people that have died from cancer never learned their lesson? So God just killed them off? Well, no. no, 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 right? No, no, no. It's crazy. I don't know that it's personal. I mean, look, I think shit happens and we get sick, but it. <laughs> but here's the audacity, and I think you've had a little bit more of your fair share of this, girl. I do think people um, uh, want. You are beautiful. Like you're, you're kind of a triple threat kind of thing. You know, you're you're beautiful. You've got a lot of intelligence. And I think people are threatened by you. So I think, and I hate to say this, remember that commercial, what was that cute model's name? That, she was a model and she'd say, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Remember that commercial? Oh, yeah. Was but, that like L'Oreal? Yes, it was some, yes, that was, I think it was hair shampoo. But okay. don't hate me because I'm beautiful. I kind of, I think about that with you because I oh. think people might hate you because you're beautiful. I, I know. I, I think, I mean, some so, people out there. So people Sorry. would be like, oh, she's you deserve, so pretty. She deserves yes. cancer. Or, or I'm glad she got, I'm glad. You oh, know I'm what? Glad. You got to learn something for that. And then you got religious people in your family, your history, whatever. And so, again, it's all got to, they got to make it mean something about morality mm. or worthiness. Mm. Everything's a hierarchy of worthiness when you live in a religion. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It isn't accepting. It is right. the most judgmental place to be on earth. It's inside of a religion. Do you know? That's, I, that's, and that's what it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be judgmental. It should be love, unconditional love. That's what God wants. And I think, you know, if you want to be in a religion or you want to be in a church or you want to be in that setting, that's awesome. Sure. Just keep, um, just keep a check over how you're feeling. And if anybody ever comes across and makes you feel like you're not able yeah. or capable or worthy to have a communication with whoever you choose to you're, believe, yeah. that's where it gets a little dicey. Yeah. Yep. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Hey, That's we appreciate right. y'all being here with us. Starting over series is what we are. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.